Hello everyone, this is Amazon Fire Stick HD. In this video, I'm gonna unbox it and I'm gonna show you how to connect it and how to set it up. So let's unbox it. So let me open the box. It has a frustration free unboxing experience. And this is a very nice touch to include the batteries for the remote control. So this is everything you get in the box. You have the remote control, you have the Fire TV stick, you have batteries for the remote control. This is a power cord and this is a power adapter. This is the HDMI connector and some documentation. Let me show you first how to install the batteries in the remote control. On the back of the remote control, you have this indentation here. Just push it down like this and then push it all the way. And then this is where you install the batteries. So the minus of the battery should go here on the bottom. And this is the second one and just slide back the cover like this all the way let me show you now how i will be connecting it to my video projector so you have the extension the fire stick the power adapter and then the power cord so if your projector has a wide opening here you can plug the fire stick directly in the hdmi port if you have a place or of course if you're using your tv also you can plug it directly in the hdmi port of the tv but here as you notice my projector has a narrow opening so the fire stick isn't going all the way so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna use the extension that comes with the fire stick so plug the fire stick in the extension here and then plug the extension in your tv or in your video projector and now to power it up this is a power input here on the side unfortunately they are still using micro usb and not USB C. and this is the latest model of the amazon tv fire stick so let me put this end here and the next end should go into the power adapter and the power adapter you put it in any power plug and now the fire tv stick is powered and connected so let me show you now how to set it up so now i'll be turning on the fire stick for the first time give it a minute so that it boots up and here it is booting so after turning on the Fire TV stick, the first step is to search for the remote control. So here it's telling you to press for 10 seconds on the home button on your remote control. So to detect it, and this is what I just did. And now it's telling you to press the play pause button on the remote control. And here you need to choose your language. So for me, I'll keep it on English United States. And this next step of the setup is different whether you had an Amazon device already in your home network. So if you had an Amazon device in your home network, your Fire TV stick will come pre-programmed with your Wi-Fi settings and with your Amazon account. So here I chose to erase the Fire Stick so that to show you the setup process from A to Z. So here I wanna connect my Fire TV stick with the remote control. So I'm gonna choose setup with remote. And now I need to connect to my Wi-Fi network. So here choose your Wi-Fi network. So after you put the password for your Wi-Fi network, select connect. And now it is connected to the Wi-Fi network. And the first thing it will do after connection to the Wi-Fi network is that it will search for an update on the internet. So here it is downloading the latest software update and it finished the updates. And here, of course, as I said before, if you had an Amazon device, it will not ask you all these questions. So it will come pre-programmed with your Wi-Fi network connection and the password and your login information. So here, log in with your Amazon account. So all you have to do is to scan the QR code that you see in front of you on the screen with your phone's camera app and continue the login on your smartphone. So after you successfully log in, it will continue the setup automatically. And here you need to press on continue or if you wanna change the account, you can change it. I'm gonna press on continue. And this step is to allow the remote control of the Fire TV stick to control your TV in case you have a TV that you wanna control with this remote control. So here I'm gonna choose the brand of my TV, which is Sanyo. If you don't have a TV, you can choose brand not available or simply select any TV here. And here I'm selecting my TV. And the next step is to verify if the remote control is controlling your TV. So this is what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna select next with the remote control. And here you need to try to bring down the volume or bring it up with the remote control. So let me see. So it is working for me. I'm gonna select yes and then select okay. 
and this is an ad if you want to like subscribe to Amazon Kids. I want to skip this ad. So I'm selecting no thanks. And here, if you want to add some applications, you can do it here or you can do it later. I'm going to do it here. And you're going to notice that the Fire TV stick will propose to you applications depending on the region and the country you're in. So here I am in Canada. So it's proposing to me Canadian streaming services. So I'm going to install some free ones. So this is Jam. I'm going to install Spotify and Tubi. And to continue, all you have to do is to press the play pause button on your remote control and then select finish. And here, if you want to enable parental controls, so I'm going to enable parental controls for me. And you need to choose a pin for the parental codes. So let's select OK. And here it's giving you some navigation tips. So I'm going to select got it. And this is the Fire TV launching with my account. So I'm going to select my account here. You can create a new profiles if you want to. And this is the home screen of Fire TV. And to install an application, you need to go to the App Store, which is here. And here, for instance, I'm going to install Plex TV. So let's search for Plex TV here. Search. And then with the remote control, I'm doing all this. So this is Plex. Let's select it. And select it with the remote control also. And select Get. And if you have your pin enabled like I did, so any purchase or any download, it will ask you for your pin. So I'm going to select my pin here. And it was installed. So now I went to the home screen. And I want to show you how to add it to the shortcuts here. So go to the apps here, View. And let's see Plex here. And you need to press on the menu button on the remote, this one here, so that to manage the placement of the application. So I want to move it. So I'm going to select move. And now you can move it wherever you want. So I'm going to move it here before Crave TV. And then when you move it, just select OK on your remote control. So let's go back to the home screen now. And you see that Plex is now on your shortcuts. By the way, if you want to check out this Fire TV stick, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you, and this will support my channel. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comments section below, and I'll be happy to answer all your questions and all your comments. I want to thank you all for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.